God, that never gets old. Silent Hunter 3, the sequel to Silent Hunter 2, which was the sequel to Silent Hunter 1. Huh, that actually made sense. Silent Hunter 3 is a submarine combat simulation game, much like how Rise of Light is a World War 1 flight simulation game, and how Koikatu is a Japanese high school simulation game. You play as a submarine captain or Lieutenant in German as you lead your submarine through World War II. You pick a name, pick a submarine, and watch hours of 240p videos of people explaining how to manually target a torpedo in a different language. Get yourself a brat first and get ready to fill your laughter quota as we dive deep into one of my favorite submarine games. Get it? Dive deep in the submarine. <laughs> Let's begin. First off, pick a race, then pick a starting date. Often, people choose the second starting date when Germany is already at war. But I, a man of culture, choose the first starting date for extra immersion. They did fucking what? Now then, some of you might be scared of the graphics. And most of you will be intimidated by it being a simulation game. But let me tell you this, as a man that skimmed through a PDF file in the internet, that it isn't that difficult to handle German engineering. Silent Hunter 3 has a lot of mods, some of which help add more into the game. The biggest mod is the Grey Wolves mod, which add a ton of new stuff. I have it installed including some other mods that add more aesthetics to the game. Full mod list will be in the description. Story A guy wanted to join an art school, the professor said no. That single incident resulted in the death of 85 million people, which was 3% of the world's total population in 1940. Not a single incident surpassed this point in this time, till decades later when a baby fell into a zoo enclosure. Silent Hunter 3 doesn't really have a story. It's one of those games where you make your own story as you LARP as a submarine captain in the 1940s. There are some missions given to you, but all of them are just patrol missions that can be done by moving into the position and waiting there for a whole day. The meat of the game is hunting enemy vessels and dodging the enemy navy. Sinking as much ships as possible so that Daddy Hitler will give you nice medals and so that you can brag your KD ratio to the other submarine captains. Then you realize the best submarine captain in history sunk almost a half a million tons. How, how the fuck did he even- Gameplay. Ride submarines, blow up merchant vessels, get a few medals. Get molested by a destroyer that carried enough depth charges to blow up an Amazon warehouse and then die. Before going to your first sortie, there are a lot of realism options to choose from. Don't like big computations? Remove manual targeting. Don't want to manually identify ships? There's an option for that too. There are a lot of realism options in this game. Think of it as a difficulty slider. I myself play at this difficulty because I like the pain. Don't worry, at the end of the review, if anybody wants to play this game, I'll teach you how to manually target torpedoes. The game is a simulation game, so there's a learning curve that you need to go through. This is why I suggested to play at an earlier starting date, because enemy convoys will be mentally challenged and like a good German, it is your duty to remove these things from the pool. I mean ocean. Your enemies are... The entire English Navy, the entire French Navy, the three ships and two paper boats in the Polish Navy, and later the American Navy. But those enemies won't hold the candle against the main enemy of the game. Your fuel and battery gorges. You will rarely fight the enemy Navy. Most of the time you'll play the most intense games of hide and seek, where the person who's it is blind and can only locate you through sound and the liberal use of explosives. Dodging enemy destroyers is like a chess game, one wrong move and you're dead. 
In this example, I bit off more than I could chew, and in return they chewed my ass. In this other example, the Polish Navy made their first move, which was to exist, a beginner's mistake which cost him the game. When you sink ships, you get renown. You can use this to hire more officers with specializations, buy U-boat upgrades, or even change your U-boat entirely. The game is dynamic as the war goes on and more technology is available for everyone. You'll find more destroyers with sonar, more planes that could patrol at longer ranges. In the later parts of the war, simply going out of the dock is a challenge already. At the earlier dates, you won't have much to pimp your submarine. But after a few years, you'll have all the toys you could ever want. Oh, and you're losing the war. Music and sound. My music taste is confused to say the least. And my ears are only trained to listen to helicopter motors and gunshots. So I'm not well versed in the machinations of sound waves. So take whatever I say in this section with a massive salt mine. Wait a minute, what am I talking about? I have a music guy with me in this channel. Okay, third, can you help me with a video? Same. Anyway, the vanilla soundtrack isn't something to write about. It's good, but not as memorable as Battlefield 1942 theme or the Battle of Britain in 1969. What it does do well if you have the Grey Wolves expansion mod are the sound effects. The mod adds over 200 new sound effects from voice lines to propeller noises to creaking of a pressurized vessel 100 feet underwater. The sound effects the mod adds to the game really enhances your immersion. From the uplifting music bands play when you get out of the port to the tense hide and seek you play with the enemy destroyers. Here, just listen to this. If that doesn't scare you, I don't know what will. Immersion It's a simulation game. Immersion is a very important part of the whole package. And boy does this game have it. With the mod, which you should be fucking installing already if you're planning on getting this game, they've added a bunch of historical stuff in the game. From more ship types to even more planes. Yes, the modders of a submarine game went out of their way to mod in more aircraft. You can get pretty immersed in this game, especially if you're a history nerd like me. Hey look, it's Germany's aircraft carrier, the Graf Zeppelin. Now I know what you're thinking. Anze, what are you talking about? Germany didn't have an aircraft carrier. Yes they did. It was commissioned and made before the war. In fact, at the start of the war, it was already, I think, 80% complete. Due to the change in doctrine, change in war plans, and some good old inter-service rivalry, it was never completed. For more information about the Graf Zeppelin, check out these videos. The game with the mod adds so much small details into the game that it feels like its own game, trying to look for historical references. This helps with the immersion of the player and makes you feel like there's really a war going on in the background. At the start of the war, I went near Polish ports in hopes of sinking a few Polish ships and to my surprise, this happened. Schiff gesichtet. Aircraft? Gosh, oh, shit. Fuck. 
Flugzeug gesichtet. Lage 2-1. Große Entfernung. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Feuer frei. Flugzeug gesichtet. Lage 1-1. Große Entfernung. Oh, mit der Stuche. Hörli. Holy <lacht> fuck. <lacht> Jesus. <lacht> Holy crap. God damn! Thank you, Herman Goring. Very cool. If she breathes, Jesus! A nice person just like the one watching this video. Silent Hunter 3 is probably one of the best submarine simulator games out there. The company that made it, Ubisoft. No, not that Ubisoft. The other one. Did real good with this game. Go give it a try. And if you can't be bothered to play, there's a great YouTuber by the name of Wolfpack345 that makes amazing videos on Silent Hunter 3 and other related games. His videos made me want to play this game, and now I know more about calculating torpedo solutions than basic math. Sure, the game had sequels, but like Morrowind to the Elder Scrolls games, or New Vegas to Fallout, Hello there. Silent Hunter 3 is the best game in the bunch. I rate Silent Hunter 3 my total ton sunk over Herman Goring's weight before his field trip to The Hague. Hello, WarCryman777 here. Have you heard of Patreon? Go check ours out. Don't want to share your money to Patreon? Buy us a Ko-Fi. Ko-Fi. Ko-Com. I'm more of a tea kind of guy.